I studied communication at university and I, I've always been interested in visual culture in general. When I was at school and the um, art program used to be like super chronological and I used to skip the pages and you know, not to look at what was coming after and, uh, and that was like my was my first approach like my first curious approach to what was next you know. Pasticceria San Gregorio is the best place for breakfast in the neighborhood. Uh, I love the messy visual feeling you get as soon as you walk in. You know, it's very interesting to get in, you know, in the middle of these people they really, and they, and they do the best cream uh, croissant in town. So it's really, it's, it's something very inspiring, I think. I love the park of Villa Reale because it's just a few steps away from Corso Buenos Aires which is a super commercial, crowded um, street. And uh, the park feels so quiet and uh, it's beautiful to be so close to two museums. One is the Museum of Contemporary Art and the other one is the Galleria d'Arte Moderna. It's, it's really inspiring to feel close to, to, to a museum. You feel some kind of energy. The park is an example of how Milan is not necessarily grey all the time or working all the time. So I really like I really like this green spot in the middle of the city. The Paninoteca is an amazing spot. It's uh, you have the feeling of going back mm, to the 80s. You see this old school uh, people doing like club sandwich uh, or cosacco or other kinds of sandwich like old school. They're, they're really proud of it. And this is another aspect I like of Milano. You know, these old spots where, like, uh, you have the feeling of uh, people that do things as they used to be and following a kind of rule. You have barber shops like that, you have bars like that, and you have this kind of sandwich place, which is exactly according to this uh, philosophy. My favorite sandwich is club sandwich, which is the most layered and it's the dirtiest kind of thing you can get there. My house is a flat in this 1930s building in Porta Venezia and uh, I'm sharing it with a friend and we like living with art. We, we like changing works on the walls and actually we commissioned a friend to paint uh, a wall painting in, uh, in our bathroom which is like, very narrow and very uh, tall and um, he painted these abstract kind of balls uh, and on the top you have these running pizzas with our initials uh, every time in a different combination so it's a very funny thing when you're walking in the morning it's a very funny way to start the day an interesting place to keep an eye on is Via Farini they have a program of residences for young artists uh, who don't live in Milan usually. And um, my friend Giallo Concialdi is a painter from Sicily and he used to work here for, for a while and now he's, um, he's working, he has a studio there. And um, what I really like about his take on uh, art is the fact that he comes from a different background uh, than most of the artists who work in Milan, young artists that work in Milan. So it's, I think it's very interesting to speak with him. I, like, I really enjoy speaking with him, talking to him. What I really like about his work is the scale. It's really huge. It, 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 kind, of, it kind of reminds me of the, these Italian painters from the 80s, you know. I have the feeling that it's a very genuine approach and he really enjoys painting that way and it still doesn't feel necessarily like proper um, it's kind of risk-taking so I, re I really like visiting him. Opening the gallery in Milan uh, was um, a kind of challenge because I felt a kind of generational luck you know I didn't I didn't see any other young galleries that could start doing a serious job with the uh, artists of uh, this generation the space is a typical storefront you can find in Milano. It's very small, it's like 35 square meters and it's basically two rooms. During the openings, it's very nice to have people outside, but you feel you're also 
inside because you really see uh, the whole show in just one glimpse. What I really like about Milan is uh, this tension between a bourgeois feeling you always have, like the, the houses, the people, the attitude that people have here. It's a really bourgeois attitude, but they always have this avant-garde background. So in design and fashion, this, is, this, this creates a really interesting tension. Uh, I don't think something interesting can come out of uh, a situation where no tension, where there's no tension, you know. You can have a um, 19th century beautiful building just next to like a, a crazy brutalist building. Beautiful as well, but in a different way. And they, they can be uh, in face of each other or, very, or like next to each other. And this is a very, compared to Paris, for instance, where like architectural, architectural landscape is more homogeneous. Here you have a lot of like discoveries and still it feels very human-sized.